السلام عليكم ورحمة الله دير ستينس at faculty of commerce English section first grade today we will have the first section of our interesting topic macroeconomics this is Muhammad Munjib administrator at faculty of commerce English section economics and public finance department so first we will have some definitions about our first lecture so the most important thing in our first section is the distinction between microeconomics and macroeconomics. We have to know the difference between the micro and macroeconomics. And we will have three big questions of micro and macroeconomics and explain the way of economic thinking. So economics as a science, it's a science of a choice and it has much about change, challenge, opportunity. We have technological change, we have terrorism, we have recession, we have rich problems and we have poor problems. All of that is the definition of economics and economics is the science of scarcity. So economics is a science of scarcity, علم النضرة. We have economic questions about scarcity, how to satisfy our wants with limited resources. So economics is a social science that studies the choices that individuals, businesses, governments, and societies make to cope with scarcity. We have limited resources and unlimited needs. So the economic problem is about limited resources and unlimited needs. So if we have some true and false questions about resources and needs, and if the economy has unlimited resources, it's a wrong statement. Does we have limited needs? No, we have unlimited needs. Here we distinguish between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics is a study of choices made by individuals. So it's a very important thing to know that we have individuals and businesses have some choices. So that's about microeconomics and we have microeconomics subject in first semester. This semester, our focus main focus on macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is a very important branch of economics. It's study of effects of national and the global economy and choices that individuals, businesses, and governments make. We have three big microeconomic questions. What and how and for whom? These are three big economic questions. What goods and services are produced? How goods and services are produced? And for whom goods and services are produced? We know course the difference between goods and services goods are tangible things services are intangible so goods and services are the objects that people value and produce to satisfy wants because we have wants we have some objects that can value and produce to satisfy these wants And there is a very important definition. It's the factor of production. We have factors of production. It's four categories, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. So we have land, we have labor, and we have 
entrepreneurship as a factors of production. So we have four factors of production. We have four categories. Land has its own rent, labor, has wages, capital has interest, entrepreneurship has profit. So this is the payments for factors of production. For capital, we have interest. And for entrepreneurship, we had profit. For our first factor of production is land. Land is considered as a gift of nature. We use land to produce goods and services. So we use land to produce goods and services. The work time and effort that people devote to producing goods and services is labor. And this is the second factor of production, labor or human capital, the quality of labor. We must understand the quality of labor is very important definition because we have knowledge, skill that's obtained from education, training, and work experience. And also we had capital. And capital, it's not about money. It's about the tools, the instruments, the machines, the buildings, and other constructions that are used to produce goods and services. So we use capital to produce goods and services. And we have the last factor of production is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship has its profit and it's also a human resource, but it organizes land, labor, and the capital. So entrepreneurship is a very important factor of production. He organized land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship. So for each factor of production, we have some earnings. As we said before, land earns rent, الأرض لها ريا, labor earns wages, العمالة لها أجور, capital earns interest, رأس المال له فائدة, entrepreneurship earns profit. And the last factor of production has profit, ربح. Our focus on macroeconomics questions, it's about the standard of living, cost of living, and the fluctuations of economy. And this is related to some definition. It's called business cycle. We will have business cycle in next section. The determination of standard of living, it's about the level of consumption that people enjoy on the average and is measured by average income per person. So we have small formula. We can divide the average income divided by the number of people or persons. So we will have the average income and we can consider the standard of living. The determination of cost of living. Cost of living is about the amount of money it takes to buy the goods and services that a typically family consumes. So we have a family. Cost of living is related to money, money that is consumed or it takes to buy the goods and services by a typical family. The cost of living in US is about the number of dollars it takes to buy the goods and services that is a typically family consumes. So if we had the cost of living in Asia, 
we have the number of Egyptian pounds it takes to buy the goods and services that a typical Egyptian family consumes. We had some important definition about inflation and deflation. It's about the fluctuations of economy. We had the third question about why does our economy fluctuate? And we know that there is two important definitions. It's about inflation and deflation. Inflation, it's about rising cost of living. Rising cost of living is called simple definition. It's called inflation. A falling cost of living is called deflation. So inflation brings a shrinking value of dollar and deflation brings a rising value of dollar. So if we have inflation, so there is a rising cost. So our topic, it's important about seeking to explain the forces that determine the cost of living and inflation or deflation. Why inflation is happening, why deflation is happening, it's about macroeconomics. Business cycle and fluctuations in economy. Business cycle is periodic, but irregular ups and downs, movement in production and jobs in economy. As an example, during 2001, the U.S. economy entered a mild recession production and job trends. But in 1990s, the U.S. economy enjoyed a prolonged except expansion, production and jobs increased. Is that the added the وظائف? Is that the intake? So, في توسع بينما recession عكس مفهوم expansion a recession in كماش. فيؤدي ذلك إلى نقص في الانتاجية وعدد الوظائف. So, why does our economy fluctuate? Economists remain unsure about the source of economic fluctuations and about the actions that might be taken to smooth the economy. But during our study and during our sections, we will try to, do, to search, to look for the reasons about economy fluctuations. This is a simple example about business cycle. As we see, we have on the y-axis, the gross domestic product. And we have in the X axis time. So we first draw the business cycle like that. We have a line here. We have a second line. On the y-axis, we have GDP. X-axis, we have time. If we draw a line like that, it's considered that we have a GDP fixed here, but this is not what exactly happens. What exactly happens is we have fluctuations. We have ups, expansion, we have recession. Expansion, recession. And we call this area recession. And this is expansion. Top or peak and bottom.
this is assembly, the business cycle. So we have here a P, then we have the recession. So we have row or a bottom, recovery, then expansion. And this is depression. The economic way of thinking, we have choices and trade-offs. Economic way of thinking places scarcity and its application, choice at center stage. So we have a trade-off that we give out something to gain to get another thing. So that was the first section of our interesting topic. We will have some multiple choices and true and false questions for this chapter. So our way of work will be have some explanation for the chapter. We have some problems and solution. And we have some important questions at these parts. Thank you for listening and good luck.